Titan, Saturn's largest moon, holds more secrets than a cryptic novel. Its allure lies in its unexplored terrain, a cosmic siren song, drawing in scientists and space enthusiasts alike. Suspended in the celestial canvas like an artist's afterthought, Titan is a moon of Saturn, the sixth planet from our sun in the vast expanse of the solar system. In terms of size, it's not just another moon. This moon boasts its stature as the second largest moon in our solar system, surpassed only by Jupiter's moon, Ganymede. But it's not just Titan's size that sets it apart. Unlike most moons in our solar system, Titan is shrouded in a heavy, dense atmosphere, a feature that often draws comparisons with our very own Earth. It's a tantalizing similarity that sparks curiosity and fuels the desire to delve deeper into the mysteries of Titan. And then there's the surface of Titan, a landscape so alien yet strikingly familiar, marked by mountains, valleys, and vast lakes. But these are not lakes filled with water. Instead, they're brimming with liquid methane and ethane, a phenomenon unique to this magnificent moon. Titan's atmosphere, its surface, its size, all these characteristics build up the allure of this enigmatic moon. But the intrigue doesn't end there. Titan holds the promise of insights into the early days of Earth, a celestial time capsule holding the secrets of our planet's past. Moreover, it's a beacon for future exploration, an alien world that could potentially harbor life. The thought of life beyond Earth, even if it's microbial, stirs the imagination and adds another layer to the allure of Titan. As we step into the realm of Titan, we step into a world of mystery and wonder, a world that challenges our understanding of the universe and our place in it. Dive in with us as we unravel the enigma that is Titan. Our journey begins in the 17th century with a curious Dutch astronomer. In the year 1655, Christian Huygens, armed with nothing more than his keen intellect and a primitive telescope, made a discovery that would forever change our understanding of the cosmos. His eyes fell upon a bright speck of light, circling the majestic ringed planet we know as Saturn. This speck of light turned out to be Titan, Saturn's largest moon and the second largest in our solar system. Now, you might be wondering, how significant was this discovery? Well, consider the technology of the time. The telescope Huygens used was a far cry from the advanced devices we have today. His tool was rudimentary, plagued by distortions and narrow fields of view. Yet despite these limitations, Huygens managed to identify an object millions of miles away from Earth, a testament to his extraordinary observational skills. Titan was not just another moon. It was a body of immense intrigue. Huygens had discovered a world with a thick atmosphere, a feature that distinguished it from any other moon known at the time. This characteristic alone sparked the curiosity of astronomers and set the stage for centuries of exploration and study. But the significance of Huygens' discovery extends beyond the realm of astronomy. It's a story of human curiosity, of our innate desire to look beyond our world and venture into the unknown. It's a tale of how a single observation can ignite a spark of fascination that burns for centuries. It's a reminder that our quest for understanding is a journey, one that often begins with a simple gaze at the night sky. Huygens' discovery of Titan was more than just a milestone in the annals of astronomy. It was a testament to the power of human curiosity and the endless possibilities that the cosmos holds. And as we continue to explore and understand Titan, we pay homage to that 17th century Dutch astronomer who first laid eyes on this intriguing world. This marked the beginning of our fascination with this mysterious celestial body. A Titan by any other name would be just as mysterious. In the grand tapestry of our universe, the naming of celestial bodies often holds a certain charm, a blend of science and mythology, rationality and romance. Such is the case with Titan, Saturn's largest moon and the second largest moon in our solar system. The naming process of Titan is steeped in the rich lore of ancient Greek mythology, as is common with many heavenly bodies. The credit of naming Titan goes to the astronomer John Herschel, son of William Herschel, who discovered the planet Uranus. John Herschel, in his publication, Results of Astronomical Observations Made During the Years 1834, 5, 6, 7, 8, at the Cape of Good Hope, proposed the term Titan along with the names of the other six Saturnian moons known at the time. The name Titan was not chosen lightly. 
In Greek mythology, the Titans were a race of powerful deities, descendants of Gaia and Uranus, who ruled during the legendary Golden Age. They were renowned for their immense size and strength, a fitting parallel to the Moon Titan's massive size and gravitational pull. Furthermore, the Titans were also known for their defiance against the established order, a notion mirrored in Titan's unique characteristics that set it apart from other moons. From its thick, nitrogen-rich atmosphere to its lakes and seas of liquid methane and ethane, Titan stands as a testament to the defiance of norms in the cosmos. In essence, the name Titan encapsulates the moon's grandeur and mystique. It speaks of the moon's colossal size, echoing the might of the ancient Titans, and it reflects the moon's unique properties that defy our common understanding of what a moon should be. The name Titan serves as a reminder of the moon's enigmatic nature, its allure, and its defiance against the established cosmic order. It is a name that encapsulates the moon's identity in the grand scheme of the universe. So Titan it was, and Titan it remains. Titan's atmosphere is a cloak, veiling its secrets from prying eyes. A beguiling enigma, it stands in stark contrast to the barren, inhospitable environments of most moons in our solar system. The atmosphere of Titan is a rich, complex tapestry woven with a myriad of chemical components. The most abundant element in this shroud is nitrogen, mirroring the Earth's own atmosphere. However, this is where the similarities end. Unlike our planet, which boasts an oxygen-rich atmosphere, Titan's air is laced with a cocktail of hydrocarbons, with methane and ethane being the most prevalent. The discovery of this dense, nitrogen-rich atmosphere was nothing short of astonishing. It was a revelation that challenged our understanding of what a moon could be. While the atmospheres of other moons are often thin and fleeting, Titan's is substantial and lasting. In fact, it is denser than Earth's, a feature that sets it apart from every other moon we know. This unique atmosphere isn't just a curiosity, it's a key to understanding Titan's past and future. The presence of methane, for instance, is intriguing because sunlight breaks methane down over time. So the fact that there's still a significant amount of methane in Titan's atmosphere suggests that there's a source replenishing it. The origin of this methane, however, remains one of Titan's many mysteries. In addition, the dense atmosphere and its chemical composition have led to the formation of a thick orange smog that obscures the moon's surface from view. This haze is so thick that it was only with the arrival of the Cassini-Huygens mission in the early 21st century that we were finally able to peer beneath it and catch a glimpse of Titan's surface. Titan's atmosphere, unlike any other moons, continues to baffle and intrigue us. It is an enigma wrapped in a riddle, a testament to the diverse and often surprising nature of our solar system. Its study promises to shed light on the complex processes that shape not just Titan, but potentially other worlds beyond our reach. The Voyager missions of the late 20th century brought Titan back into the limelight. In the late 70s and early 80s, two unmanned spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, set off on a remarkable journey to the outer reaches of our solar system. Among their many targets was Saturn's largest moon, the enigmatic Titan. These missions, masterminded by NASA, were the first to provide a closer look at this distant world, peering through its dense, hazy atmosphere to reveal surprising insights. The Voyager spacecrafts were equipped with cameras and a suite of scientific instruments designed to study the atmosphere, surface, and magnetic environment of Titan. As Voyager 1 made its closest approach in November of 1980, it revealed a world shrouded in a thick orange smog, a dense atmosphere primarily made up of nitrogen with traces of methane. However, the dense atmosphere posed a significant challenge. The thick haze prevented the spacecraft from obtaining clear images of the moon's surface, leaving scientists to speculate about what lay beneath. Was it a world of liquid methane seas, as some suggested, or perhaps a rocky desert interspersed with lakes of liquid ethane? Despite these challenges, the Voyager missions were not without their findings. They confirmed that Titan's atmosphere is denser than Earth's and is composed primarily of nitrogen, with traces of other hydrocarbons. This discovery sparked interest in the possibility of chemical processes similar to those that might have occurred on the early Earth, fueling the imagination of astronomers and astrobiologists alike. 
The Voyager missions also detected a faint but discernible magnetic field around Titan, suggesting the presence of an internal dynamo, much like the one at the heart of our own planet. This hinted at the intriguing possibility of a subsurface ocean of water and ammonia. The Voyager missions left us with more questions than answers, but they lit the spark for a renewed interest in Titan, paving the way for future missions that would delve deeper into the mysteries of this distant moon. In the 21st century, we took a closer look at Titan and what we found was astonishing. This closer look came in the form of the groundbreaking Cassini-Huygens mission, a joint endeavor by NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Italian Space Agency. Launched in 1997, this mission marked a monumental step in our exploration of the Saturnian system. The main objective of the Cassini-Huygens mission was to study Saturn and its moons with a particular focus on Titan. And oh, did it deliver. After a seven-year journey, the Huygens probe detached from the Cassini orbiter and descended onto the surface of Titan marking the first and only landing in the outer solar system to date. The probe's descent and its short operational time on the surface provided us with a wealth of information. One of the most significant discoveries was the presence of liquid hydrocarbon lakes on Titan's surface. These are the only known bodies of surface liquid, apart from water on Earth, in our entire solar system. This discovery opened up a whole new realm of possibilities and questions about the nature of life and its potential existence beyond our home planet. The Cassini orbiter continued its mission, making several flybys of Titan, mapping its surface, studying its atmosphere, and further investigating its mysterious lakes. Its images and data have given us an unprecedented view of this intriguing moon. The Cassini-Huygens mission revealed a world that is in many ways similar to Earth, yet alien in its composition. It is a world where methane and ethane fall from the sky as rain, fill rivers and lakes, and carve the landscape much like water does on Earth. A world that might hold the key to understanding more about our own planet and the potential for life elsewhere in the universe. Cassini-Huygens transformed our understanding of Titan, bringing us one step closer to uncovering its secrets. Titan's weather and geology is as alien as it gets. Let's start with the weather. Imagine a world where it doesn't rain water, but methane. Yes, you heard it right, methane. On Titan, the second largest moon in our solar system, the skies are often filled with methane clouds, and when conditions are right, these clouds burst into showers of methane rain. This methane cycle is strikingly similar to Earth's water cycle, but with a frigid twist. In the Titanian atmosphere, where temperatures plunge to minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit, Methane behaves much like water does on our home planet, existing in liquid form on the surface and evaporating to form clouds in the sky. Now let's delve into the geology of this intriguing celestial body. Titan is a showcase of extraordinary geological features, including vast dune fields composed of tiny particles of organic material and extensive plains and highlands made of water ice. But the real showstopper here is the presence of cryovolcanoes, a cryovolcano, or a cold volcano, is a type of volcano that erupts volatiles such as water, ammonia, or methane instead of molten rock. It's thought that Titan's cryovolcanoes spew a mixture of liquid water and ammonia, a spectacle that would be as breathtaking as it is bizarre. This cryovolcanic activity hints at a subsurface ocean of water and ammonia, further deepening the intrigue of Titan's geology. While the processes that shape the landscapes on Earth and Titan are similar, the materials involved are vastly different. On Earth, we have a water cycle that carves our landscapes and a molten rock cycle that builds and destroys mountains. On Titan, it's a methane cycle and a water ice cycle doing the same tasks. So the next time you gaze up at the stars and your eyes land on Saturn, remember that in its orbit lies a moon with a landscape so alien yet so strikingly familiar. Titan's alien weather and geology adds another layer to its mystery. The future of Titan exploration holds promise and countless possibilities. As we step into the era of interplanetary exploration, our gaze is firmly set on this enigmatic moon of Saturn, with a number of missions planned for the coming years. One of the most anticipated of these is NASA's Dragonfly mission. Slated for launch in 2026, Dragonfly is a drone-like lander set to embark on an eight-year journey to Titan. 
This mission aims to explore the moon's diverse environments from its organic dunes to its impact craters and decipher the processes that have shaped this intriguing world. Dragonfly will be equipped with instruments capable of measuring the composition of Titan's surface and atmosphere, seeking to answer the age-old question, could Titan harbor life? In a world where liquid methane rains from the sky and fills vast lakes, the potential for a completely new, alien form of life exists. But Dragonfly is just the beginning. Future missions could include boats to sail Titan's methane seas, or balloons to float through its thick atmosphere. The exploration of Titan could redefine our understanding of life in the universe. What's more, Titan's rich resources of nitrogen and methane could make it a vital pit stop for future deep space missions. Imagine, a future where we refuel our spacecrafts at Titan's gas stations before venturing out into the cosmos. As we look to the future, the exploration of Titan is not just about understanding this distant moon. It's about understanding our place in the universe, about pushing the boundaries of human knowledge and capability. It's about asking the big questions and daring to find the answers. The future of Titan exploration is as exciting as its mysterious past. As we stand on the cusp of a new era of discovery, we can only imagine what secrets Titan holds, waiting to be unveiled. And with each new mission, each new discovery, we move one step closer to unraveling the mysteries of this fascinating world. The journey of Titan exploration continues, and the best is yet to come. Titan, a moon that has captured our imagination for centuries, continues to do so. Our journey today took us through its fascinating history, starting with its discovery in the mid-17th century. We delved into the intrigue and mystery that surrounded its naming and how it came to be known as Titan, the sibling of the giants in Greek mythology. We then turned our attention to the unique features that set Titan apart. Its thick, nitrogen-rich atmosphere, for instance, is a marvel in itself, unlike any other moon in our solar system. We explored how this dense atmosphere contributes to the moon's weather and geology, creating a landscape that is both familiar and alien to us. We revisited the Voyager mission, a remarkable feat of human ingenuity that gave us our first close-up look at this distant moon. The images and data sent back by Voyager continue to inform our understanding of Titan and fuel our curiosity. Our journey didn't stop with the past and present. We also looked to the future, discussing the exciting prospects of further exploration. With advanced technology, we are poised to uncover even more about Titan's landscape, weather patterns, and potential for life. Finally, we pondered the enormous potential that Titan holds for future human exploration and settlement. Its abundance of natural resources, the possibility of a subsurface ocean, and its intriguing chemistry all make it a compelling destination for future missions. As we wrapped up our journey, we were reminded of the endless mysteries that the universe holds for us. The story of Titan is far from over. With each new discovery, we gain a deeper understanding of our place in the cosmos and the potential for life beyond our home planet. As we continue to probe its secrets, Titan remains a testament to the endless possibilities of the universe.